Hey everybody, it's Coach Matt over here at Primal Athlete Training Center, coming to you with our third video in our throwing series, having to deal with common faults and corrections with the throwing events in the sport of track and field. Now before we get into today's video, we want to remind you guys about our free shop book clinics that are happening February 6th and February 13th up at the new indoor track at Central High School in Providence. These are 100% completely free. They go on both Sundays from 1 o'clock to 2.30 p.m. All right, we hope to see you all there. It's a fantastic opportunity to get indoors out of this really bad New England weather we have going on right now. It's a great opportunity for you guys to actually use the circle and use the equipment that you're going to be using during all the big championship meets at the end of the year. And because it's on a Sunday, it doesn't interfere with anyone's meets and it doesn't interfere with anyone's practice schedules that their coach has for them during the week. It's an extra day for you guys to come up, get in some work, and get some good coaching from a great throws coach. Now, today's video has to deal with a very common fault that I see with a lot of throwers. Okay? And that fault has to deal with the shot put and the discus going down the right sector line and, do, and having a sector fall. Basically, the shot put and the discus going way off to the right and falling outside of that right sector line. Now that's the issue. The reason for that is because the hips and the shoulders never come all the way around so that the shot and the discus can follow through right down the middle of that throwing sector. And just like in video one, and just like in video two, the reason why has to deal with the feet. Okay? In the first video we showed you how by getting up on that back toe, you're able to get your hips and you're able to get your shoulders all the way around to the back of the circle. Well just like your feet allow your shoulders to come all the way to the back of the circle, your feet also allow your hips and shoulders to go all the way out the front of the circle. The way that we correct that fall has to do with the feet turning forward before anything else in our body. Okay? When we come out of that proper power position, we work from the ground up. Let me show you what I mean by that. You're in the proper power position. Okay, you're up on the back toe. Left leg is as straight as it can be. All your weight is over that power leg. For right-handed throwers, that's your right leg. Your hips are all the way back, your shoulders are all the way back, and you can check that by just picking up this left leg. All my weight's on the right side. Now, to come out of that power position, the first thing we do is we turn our feet. We turn our feet all the way around. As we turn our feet, the knee comes in. We then extend the knee and we squeeze our glutes, we squeeze our butt. As we squeeze the butt, the hips pop up. As the hips pop up, our shoulders are pointing right down the middle of that throwing sector. We pull in with the left side and have a big finish with the right side, right down the middle. Now. The reason why a lot of the throws go down the right sector line is because the feet aren't turning. Let me show you what I mean. You can be in the absolute textbook, picture perfect uh, power position, picture perfect power position, all the way down the right side, up on that left toe, left leg straight, everything is perfect. But if you don't turn these feet, watch what happens to my hips and my shoulders. If you don't turn the feet and you just explode with the knee, and then you explode with the hip, look where my hips and look where my shoulders are going to be pointing, down the right sector line. And because the hips are pointing down the right sector line, the shoulders are pointing down the right sector line, where do you think the shot and where do you think the discus is going to go? Right down the sector line. So how we correct that is by turning the feet. We work from the ground up. We hit every major joint from the ground up. We turn the feet. We extend the knee. 
We snap the hips and we push with the right side. Feet, knee, hip, shoulders, push. We work from the ground up. Now I'm going to show you guys a real neat trick that you can do at home and at practice to really work on this and emphasize turning those feet. All you need is an empty water bottle and the cap. And here we go. We have empty water bottle and the cap. All we're going to do, we're going to put the cap on the ground near our, right, near our blocking leg. For me, right-handed throws into the left leg. We're going to put the bottle near the power leg. We're going to put our toe up against the bottle and the other toe right over, or right in front of the cap. And all we're going to do is we're going to kick the bottle and squish the cap. Okay, so we're going to turn our feet, we're going to kick the bottle and squish the cap. Let me show you again. Kick the bottle, squish the cap. Keep all the weight back, kick the bottle, squish the cap. Now as you speed it up, you're going to be able to kick that bottle really far. What you're going to notice is as you kick the bottle, the knee automatically wants to extend. The hips automatically want to come forward and your shoulders automatically want to get square and point right down the sector. Something you guys can try at home, it's going to correct that issue that you might be having with the shot and with the discus going down that right sector line. If you guys like these tips, please keep checking back in, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and more than anything, we want to see you February 6th and February 13th at the new indoor track up in Providence next to Central High School. 1 o'clock to 2.30, that's three hours total between the two days, 100% free throws coaching in the place that you're going to have all your championship meets. You couldn't ask for anything more than that, and it's 100% free. If you guys want any type of training, if you guys want any type of coaching, you can inquire about that on my website, which is www.primalatc.com. PrimalAthleteTrainingCenter.com. We hope to see you guys there, and I hope to hear from you soon.